Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Orcishin. So, I ended up having to replay some days again. It's happened every single recording session now, in the past few days. I have gone back a couple days in time in the game, and had to replay them. This time I ended up on the seventh day of winter, and it was like bedtime, and then spring hit. So, I kind of left off where I was at. And, yeah, it, it, it's, it's a little annoying having to repeat everything every time. I'm sure there's some sort of weird bug going on with the saving. Don't know if it's affecting more than just me, but it's a thing that's happening. Also, I have another bug. I'm just waiting for these comp plants to grow because I've missed the harvest time each time for these comp plants. I've replanted them three times now. Alright, the other bug has to do with buying seeds. I'm not able to view some seeds and when I purchase seeds, they're not the seeds I'm purchasing. I will show you what I mean in a moment. Okay, this still has one more stage to go. I just had to make sure of that before I wandered off. Right, let's get up to Hawker quick. Okay. Huh, and now that's fixed. Okay, let me explain. The lotus seeds and the corn seeds were not there before. They did not exist, I swear to you. <laughs> it looked like this over in Hawker's menu. And when I clicked on blue leaf seeds because I wanted to buy some blue leaves, I ended up buying belladonna seeds. So the only thing I did between when I when I bought those seeds and when I decided to show you guys is I hit F2 to pause the game, clicked out of the window to go to my desktop and then opened up the recording thing that went back into the game and started recording. So I don't know if I can replicate this bug, especially since I I don't know if it'll bring me back to before I bought this before the uh, blah, blah, before I bought the upgrade for it or if it will actually save me afterwards. Is this harvest time? No, not harvest time yet. I'm not going to miss the harvest time this time. By the way, we've, we've satisfied the hawkers. If we go over here, or the raven, sorry, the ravens. And before it was the hawkers that I had to satisfy and serve beer to, to keep going. Now it's the historians. So, yeah. You might notice something that I don't really like. <laughs> Flavor dry root. And it has to be a minimal quality of four. It's also got to have a pretty high alcoholic strength. Guess what that means? I have to find a good spot to grow dry root in an area where there's no dry land anywhere. Cause look at the requirements for this thing. Oops. No wetness at all. That is one of the most important things you can have for the dry root. A very small amount of eutrophy. The other most important thing you can have for the dry root. And windbreaking, almost none. Plant density, it don't care about plant density. You can have this growing in as thick a field as possible. It's not going to care at all. So, I don't know where I can grow dry root and have it be of a decent quality because everywhere in this land is either too high of eutrophy or too high of wetness. Because there's literally no absolutely dry spots. Yeah, seriously, I have to wait even longer. Mm. Just want that cotton to grow. 
I just want I want that cotton to be grown completely so I can harvest it and not replant it. Okay. At least I'm able to buy the right seeds now. Jeez, look at those lotus seeds. Max everything except for plant density. <laughs> it wants you to have almost no plant density. Lotus is a very interesting plant to grow. Ah, uh, that is... That's going to be a fun one. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think I'm going to find anywhere to plant dry root. It seems okay with this spot. Better than these spots. I wonder why. Witnesses, hi. Eutrophy, it's the same. Windbreaking, ah, that's it, windbreaking. So, dry root, I'm just going to have to rely on this, these stars to figure out a good spot to grow it. And here is, eh, it's okay. Most of the spots are going to be because the wind breaking is lowest in that area. Time to harvest. This is the harvest time, right? Because I'm just getting seeds. Am I clicking it too early? <laughs> uh, don't, don't tell me I just harvested a bunch of that. We're not right. Why am I having such a hard time growing cotton? I thought it was harvest time. I was wrong. Now it's turned brown. Is there supposed to be a stage after it's brown or something? I don't know. Let's just leave it there. <laughs> Screw it. I'm done sitting around waiting for it to grow. Okay, so good spot for dry root if there's any at all. Near Hawker's area is one of the better areas so far. This area seems to be the best. Is there a way to make the ground drier? Or do I have to wait for a blisteringly hot day to have any chance of making the ground decent for dry root. Uh, it did increase some of the stats when I planted that. Maybe dry root will dry up the ground. I don't know. I'm hoping for things. I missed a spot for the blue leaf. I did miss a spot for the blue leaf. How did I manage that? That's what my problem was. I kept on harvesting the cotton too freaking early. I was such an idiot. <laughs> then again, it's been ages since I actually grew the cotton, so... I guess it just slipped my mind what how many stages it had to go through. <laughs> Let me catch one fish. Hmm. Yeah, should be good enough to harvest this cotton, so let's just go. And one of my pigeons has finally died. Hooray, dead pigeons. Uh, 
Let's see. Valentine's Day card. Some stones. Wheat bread. Delicious wheat bread. Mystery seed bag. I like those things. Belladonna, corn, and... Was that rye? I don't know. Gustav is the one that died. Another Valentine's Day card. Same one as before. Ooh, good quality sunflower seed. Or plant. Let's grab a new egg. Shove it in here. Alright. Sleepy time. Another male. Great. <sighs> I never get female pigeons. And I have run out of something in here. I've run out of yeast. I think I'm just going to put all my low quality yeast in here. And, and I'll buy at least one star yeast from now on from Hawker. Maybe even two star because we get a lot of money now. And someone else has brought back a mystery seed bag. Blue leaves, hops, and corn. Good job. I like that one. It's a good one. Have I been putting Belladonna in the brewing thing for the one group? I think I've been skipping that part. I have, and this guy is now out of beer. That's great. Okay. Now they have plenty of Belladonna to last for a really long time. How about hops? We have a good amount of hops and an okay amount of yeast. Gonna have to put in a little bit more though just to make sure. Well, these guys are gonna get a little bit upset. They probably already are. Yeah, the spearheads, they're drinking someone else's beer and not getting the flavor of Belladonna that they desire. That's a slight problem. Sorry, Spearheads. I forgot to keep your brew up. Let's see. Who's the guy that wants this next gen weapon stuff? Is it you? Is it you? It's one of you Raven guys. Come on. Oh, yeah, that, that's something I got. I got this banner stuff, which gives me new, new recipes for building things and the wooden pillar. Aha! Complete. And that gives me another new one. So when I go into here, yeah, look at that. You can make a, a boss with weapons, which gives you a huge amount of comfort points. A lot better than the other bosses, but this one's still the best. Front banner, ooh. These are nice. I approve. I still can't do the sunken fireplace, but whatever. Hey. And Hawker, I got that completed. Accept. Complete. Accept. Ah, I'm missing one four quality rye. Do I have any more rye seeds? I do have more rye seeds. I have loads more rye seeds. Let's go get that taken care of then. New rye crop planted. <laughs> I need a lot of rye because if I'm going to be making beer for the new guys, I'm going to need a good stockpile of rye.
and I I'll purposely plant this lower quality stuff just to increase the quality of these ones. I think that's a fair trade-off. Okay, I'm gonna need more wheat because that's the next thing that Hawker wants. I know this because I went through the taxes very fast. This tree wasn't here before. Eutrophy in this area has dropped down again. Low quality spelt. How about my barley? I got one very bad barley. And wheat. Alright, that'll give me a good amount of compost. Actually, one of the easiest crops I've grown. It requires pretty high of everything, and I got a perfect spot for it. I like that. It makes my life easier. I wonder how the dry root is. Has it grown yet? Yep, it's grown. Ooh, look at that quality. Two star at the most. That's not good. That's pretty bad. Alright, I guess I'll drop by a couple more. Because I do need to see if it gets any significant improvement if I plant a lot. Yeah, there's some minor improvement of the area. Not very much. It's not going to reach much higher than this, I guess. Because the wetness in this area is actually almost perfect. The eutrophy, however, is high. It's too dang high. The wind resistance, that's actually really good. And this doesn't really matter much. All in all, this is the best spot, and it's got no wetness, same amount of eutrophy as the rest of the area, but the perfect lack of wind. I wonder, if I put... Was it really the lack of wind that I wanted? Yeah, it did. If I put down a wall... Now that would increase the wind, the windbreak. Because if I put down a wall, maybe it would make these ones a little bit better. And get them up to the, the average quality level, but I just don't know if it would even work. Oh yeah, Hawker, here. Sunflower seed not seeds, sunflowers. Loads of them. I am now very rich. <laughs> sunflowers are where you want to go. Okay, I think we're safe buying two star yeast minimum. Like, my lower quality beers, they can use that. 
most of my other beers can use four to six stars. I think that's a good way of going about it. Let's see, I got another skill point to buy. Uh, let's go with the dung. That way the tiles will last longer. And I get dung faster. And this is why I need to keep on growing my blue leaves. Because I am always almost out. And yeast, I needed to buy more yeast, that's right. Hawker, your best quality yeast, I need a lot of it. Buy 50 units. It'll last me a long time. Oops. There we go. All right. The rye should be grown by now, so I should be able to complete that war tax quest. I wonder where the spearheads actually are going. There's no one around right now, so I can't can't check. Ah, the rye's not done yet. Dang it. I'm gonna put mostly hops in these things. I don't think you can do wool. Yeah, I can't do wool. Can't do bread. Alright. It's good good for me. Fishing and wait for the rye to grow. Actually, it's evening, so I don't really need to waste my time with fishing. So, we're gonna need to find a place to grow corn next, because that's the final quest for the war taxes. I know that because of. Well, I played yesterday and went, kept working a little longer. I saw the quest and then everything reset. So hey, at least you get to join me as I complete these quests again. Yeah, couldn't have cut that any closer if I tried. Let's see, the Coopers are all going here. Are the spearheads going to the right spot? Yes, they're going to the right spot. Good. Good job, spearheads. I'm going to sleep. You guys enjoy your beer. Got some wood. Mystery seed bag, which gives me a thing spelt along with belladonna and blue leaves. Eutrophy is still good. Alright, at 
this point, because I'm out of sunflower seeds, I'm just going to increase the wetness of these areas. So that the wheat can grow there just fine. Good. Should be good quality. I guess I'll go plant some more rye and belladonna after I drop off the belladonna I have here. Let's see, what are we low on besides that? We're we're good on the amount of wart for that one. Yeah, but we're out of wart for this one. Okay, I think we needed barley, so let's drop in 50 units of barley. Let's see, yeast, we're doing fine. Hops, we're a little bit low on. I'm not going to need to make any more belladonna for a while after this. Because that's a lot of belladonna. more rye seeds because we need to get this entire field planted. Oh, there's that section of the field. Belladonna? I have so much belladonna. I don't even I don't even need this much belladonna. I could probably sell this next crop of belladonna and be fine for a while still. Let's see, hawkers should be here by now, so I guess that's what we will do. Uh, spelt, it grows in the same area as that. Corn, I will search for a spot for corn after I harvest the next batch of dry root. Not even going to bother reading these Valentine's cards anymore. I haven't seen a new one in quite a while, so I'm pretty sure I've read them all. Hello, Hawker. I need some more wheat seeds. And a load more rye. So let's complete that. See the wheat. We already have the 100 units of minimum quality for wheat. Complete that. And the last one is corn. 150 units of corn. Minimum quality of 5. I still haven't been able to complete this quest, by the way. I don't know what it is I needed to do. I thought I had it right with three different batches, but it, it was wrong every time. Maybe I'm just stupid. All right, I'm gonna need a lot more corn too. There, that gives me 150 corn seeds. of those and I think that's all I will buy for now. now let's increase our baking and the bucket.
Hey, there was a four star one in there. That's amazing. Any batches I make with a four star one are going to be probably really spendy batches. Alright, so with this I should have a decent, yeah, maybe maybe a decent quality beer that I can get, so long as I use really good quality yeast, and nothing but really good quality yeast. Brewing kettle stops because of missing barley wart. Let's see, this is still going good. Yes it is. We still have plenty of beer in reserve. Although it they are going through it rather fast. That's got me a little bit worried that I might need to have a second a second one of these things set up probably on this end. That would be a first if I had to do that. Mm, we're still good on warp though, so We'll see. If the if these barrels empty too fast, I will make another another brewing thing. So let's look for a good spot for corn. Corn requires below average wetness but above average eutrophy. So not over here because that's a pretty bad spot for corn. And this area in general, it's better. How about by the other crop field? All right, here is actually pretty good. Uh, this is halfway decent. Eutrophy levels, if I add dung myself, then it'll be a lot better. And plant density will, of course, get better as I plant more. So the overall quality is pretty, pretty poor right now. Hmm. Over here is a lot better because the wetness is more accurate. Maybe I will just dig up this area instead. It still requires me to get the eutrophy up to snuff, but it's a lot less spaces to do than with the other stuff. Okay. Dang it! <laughs> Down here is actually pretty bad. That's that's dry. Let's ignore the dry spots. So I want to make this as little work for me as I can. Actually, over here is actually decent too. It's got the same problem with the eutrophy levels, but I gotta make this section work. All right, we need to bring the eutrophy up by. <sighs> Was it perfect in this spot? Yeah, this spot's fine. So we need this bar.
Right. This entire area is perfect for growing corn now. And what does it say with the corn? It says this area is good. Awesome. And of course, when I plant more, the plant density increases, the corn gets happy. But is it going to be good enough quality? We will have to wait and see in tomorrow's video, because this is where I'm ending it. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, favorite if you did. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care, guys, and goodbye.